You're a mother of a son. Mm. Were you ever across how much I was into toy soldiers? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I loved them, didn't I? Mm. I loved battles, I loved aircraft, I loved Lining airplanes. Them up, knocking them down. And I used to have this thing where you used to press this thing and it would fire sort of almost yeah. bits of rubber that would take them out and it brought an authenticity to yeah. battle. Yeah. Especially as an only kid. So I'd have to jump from the Germans to the Americans to the British to the Germans to the Americans. Sometimes it would be Prussians, Napoleonic French, you name Prussians. it. Prussians. Prussians. Well, this is a new movie about the Battle of Midway. John Ford, years ago, when I was at film school, we watched a film which is an archive documentary short mm -hmm. called The Battle of Midway, in which John oh. Ford assembled uh, colour footage of the actual air battle between oh. the Americans and the Japanese. And The Battle of Midway was a, a battle within World War II when the Americans got wind of the fact that the Japanese were going to launch a similar attack to Pearl Harbor okay. on the Hawaiian Atoll. Oh. Um, so the Americans sent all these ships over and apparently it was one of the most successful battles for the Americans. They got rid of oh, most, okay. most of the Japanese's naval uh, pilots, I believe. Okay. Um, so anyway, so a movie's been made of it, made of it now by Roland Emmerich. Now, I, I'm not sure what I think of Roland Emmerich. He directed him Independence Day. Oh. Godzilla. Oh. Uh, 2012, I think was that the film? 10,000 BC. Oh. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of Roland no. Emmerich. But in the cast for this film are the likes of Woody Harrelson. Who we all love. We love him. Dennis Quaid. Which we all love. We all love who, him too. Who we all love. I love films like Full Metal Jacket, Saving Private yeah, Ryan, yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. So anyway, so should we check it out? Yeah. What? Who's this kid? You didn't think he could cut it? I figured it was just the usual jitters. Take him under my wing. He was wanting to be scared. Pearl Harbor is the greatest intelligence failure in American history. This can never happen again. I want to make it right. At least some of the boys still want to fight. Woody. The Japanese are planning something bigger. So what's the target? We believe it's Midway. Washington disagrees. Washington is wrong. If we lose, then Japanese on the West Coast. Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Oberon. Throw a punch so they know what it feels like to be hit. We're talking about a couple dozen planes. It's all Japanese fleet. This isn't a fair fight. I don't know how to lead these men. You know that you came through when people are counting on you. Oh! You'll be able to face anything. A Veterans Day weekend extravaganza. Wow. Washington is wrong. Good line. Good line. Um, what did well, you think? Well, on, on the evidence of that, very good. I mean, I like the look of it. Yeah. I think that he, I mean, I had nothing good to say about the director a, min a minute ago, but what yes. I will say is that what, what I do know from his other films is what he's very good at is bringing crashing things at the camera Absolutely. <laughs> and you're falling back in your seat in horror. Yeah. He did that very well. My worry sometimes with films like that and that whole sequence is you know that, I mean the fact of the matter is you know that they haven't shot most of it, you know that it's all CGI. Mm. But once you let go of that sort of criticism of it yeah. or sort of, yeah. you know, knowledge and you just let yourself ride with it, it becomes quite an astonishing, astonishing sort of feat, feat really. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's obviously a boy who can't cut it and who's going to have to cut it. Absolutely, absolutely. I like all of that. And um, so, and I was thinking, 
Woody's haircut will cut it. Well, I'd because... love to see a montage of all of Woody's various hairs. I know, but, but... not like that. I mean, <laughs> we could not do with Woody with the blonde. I mean, come on. Woody just has to be bald. He does now. He just does. Just he does. probably wants to be. They just won't let Why him. Why do they keep attaching things that look like they have their own personalities on top of his head? I don't know, but that's exactly the same as the... Maybe they use the same wig, wig. for um, yeah, Bobby, Billy Bob's... Oh, Billy Bob Thornton. And the other thing that yes. I saw. Watching it, though, I was thinking, if I was 8, 9, 10 or 11, yeah. I would have loved, loved that. that. Yeah. I mean, loved it. And yeah. I don't not love it, but... I'm a bit grown up now, but but and yeah. also what I liked about what they did in there, they reminded us of what the what the stakes were in Midway, well, i.e. the West Coast of America. I liked that. I yeah. liked that because I had no idea. No, you I didn't either. Did, no, you... well, I didn't have a sense of how completely they could have then used. No. Why did they want Hawaii? I guess in order to take on yes. West Coast of. No, sir, and no. interesting fact about Pearl Harbor, just incidentally, did you know that rumor has it that intelligence shows that Churchill knew the Japanese were going to attack Pearl Harbor, and he he allowed it to kind of happen in a sense. Yes, because it would draw the Americans into World War II. I think I've heard that before, probably mm. from you. What do you think of that, guys? What do you think of the trailer? I thought, I mean, I, I have to say it was very, yeah, ooh, in yeah, your face. Yeah, it was very uh, good. It was very <laughs> cinema, cin cinem cinema, cinema. Cinematic? Cinematic, thank you. Hey, we got there in the end. Yeah.